Hey guys, got a lock here today. It's by Albert LaBelle. <clears throat> it's called Acid. Just tried it a second ago, but I think I'm gonna rethink this and uh, probably try to go the opposite direction because there's a there's a pin here in the front that I'm having trouble with, and if I need to, I can just switch to uh, bottom of the keyway, hopefully, and get it finished that way. We'll see. I've only picked this clockwise off camera one time so we'll see okay cool we got a little false set Checking around a little bit here just to make sure first. Okay, another little click gave us a little bit deeper. Okay, I think we got that pin one. That's been my troublemaker. Another little click in the middle. I just had to turn the camera off at about 10 minutes going the other direction. Okay, a little bit deeper again. A little click in the front. All right, nothing in the front here. bit deeper again Feel a little bit of counter. It's got to find where it's coming from. Unless we got a T-pin. Where are you? Can't find my pin here. Not hiding in the front, maybe. You sly dog. All right, you know what? I'm gonna find that tension wrench and go to the bottom of the keyway here. Dropped it on the floor. Okay. See if we can still fit this pick in there. And we can, thankfully. Let's make sure one wasn't hiding. Okay, 
Okay, don't think it was one. Should be able to fit it in there. I got it in there the first time. Okay, there's my counter rotation. Wonder if we got her set. Four. Pretty sure we got it set. Cool. Getting a little deeper here. Nothing on one. That's two. It's not moving. Wants to move. All right, there's pin four again. Can't tell if we got it, it sounded like it. This feels a little further back now. Okay. That, I can't tell if that looks deeper or not. Felt like a set there. Stuck in there now. Hit it with something a little bit lower just to check. Come on. I could have sworn it felt like there was a T-pin in there last time I picked it. All right. 
Let's go back to that deep pick. We're at 10 minutes. I'm going to have to shut this off soon here. So let's get cracking. All right, there we go. Man, it was that pin four. I think I had to get pin one back to do it. Dang, that turned into a long pick there. Jeez. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this gutted. Try for a quick gutting here. Dang, that took a while. <clears throat> Just to get that last pin or two done. I was making good time, and I thought it was going to be about a couple of minutes there once I was going counterclockwise, but that did not happen. All right. Feels nice to pick an Albert LaBelle lock. Guy makes incredibly hard locks sometimes. Well, most of the time. Can't say I've had an easy one that he's made. Okay, good. We left it on the lock still. So we do have a key, but it is mummied. Even though I wouldn't mind taking a look at what he did to the key, but we'll probably be able to get a good idea from the pins in here. One, two, three. Good. I, I'm pretty sure it was a six pin there, but we've got a bunch of undercuts. One and four. Well, actually, one and four undercut, it looks like. And we've got an overset trap there in the back. So let's take a look. One is a standard. Two is a standard. Three is a really long serrated pin. Four is a standard. Five is a spoolish one with some serrations on it. And, yeah, I could have sworn it felt like there were serrations in there, too, but I guess not. Okay, Let's see what he's got up top here. All right, one is a spool. Let's get that spring out of there. A little copper spring. I'm on to my last pinning tray here. Usually have them all filled up. Two is a spool, and he's done these out of key pins. The same copper spring there. Three is a standard. All right. Eh, we'll go through the back here. This is why I don't like this plug follower for it, but it still works just fine. All right, there's a T-pin there. That must have been the T-pin we were working on. It felt like I was doing a back and forth a lot between the front and the back. And then pin four was always the tough one, it seemed like. But I believe four was the one with the undercut, and that's a spool right there. Nice deep spool. Okay. Nothing done up top. So down low, we have a standard in one, standard in two. Pin three. Nice serrated. Four is a standard. Five, really long, deep spool. Good overset trap there, especially with the standard. Standard in six. Chamber one, really deep spool there. And yeah, it didn't help with that undercut. These undercuts worked really well in this lock. Sometimes they don't work as well as you hope when you make them, but. Okay, pin two. Bomb looking spool, upside down ish, standard on three, four, really sharp spool. That was our troublemaker right there. That also went along with the undercuts. Five, standard. And I did suspect a T pin, and there it is right there in six. But yeah, that's what we got here for Albert LaBelle's Acid. That was a tough one, and I'm pretty sure he sent this one to me himself, so. That was an awesome lock to get. Took a long time, long video, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.